Hello Virgo and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums for June 2021 Star Seeds and Energy Workers messages from your guides and how they might assist you at this time during this energy transition since we've been experiencing the supermoon lunar eclipse at the end of May and on June 10th we're going to be having the new moon along with the solar eclipse in Gemini. And so that is, Gemini is the messenger. And so let's see what messages they may have for you. This is a general reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or Rising. Baby steps for you, Virgo. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. So this is really asking you to trust spirit, to trust your gut, to trust your intuition. And it may not make sense. And I know a lot of you who are empathic um, and have psychic abilities and when you're working with other people or spirit, you may not necessarily understand what's being channeled through you, but you tell the person and it makes sense to them. So just because it doesn't make sense to you at this time, there is a divine plan, but be cautious. That's why it's saying take baby steps. But there's this portal waiting for you. And here we have perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Common good. So perhaps your baby steps are working towards the common good. Virgo is the sign of service to others. It, they're usually involved in health care or helping people. And then we have the double mission, the light worker, star seed. Serve the world by being you. It's exactly what I was saying, Virgo. You are here to serve humanity just by being who you are. And you may not be sure what that is at this time because we are going through this energy transition. We're receiving all these energy downloads. So let's look at the energy here with the seven energy oracle. The roses kiss. Wow, the kiss of love. That's number nine. And with baby steps, this is telling me to be gentle with yourself, Virgo, because you're also ruled by Mercury, same as Gemini, as well as Chiron. So you are about healing and self-healing. But this is also asking you to be gentle and loving to yourself as you're going through these baby steps until you can become more confident and stable in what it is that you're doing because you're getting a new perspective. This is almost like driving in the dark with just the headlights you can't really see where you're going and it doesn't really matter until you get to your destination okay smoke and mirrors 
for the number 42. Perspective can be an illusion, and that could be why none of this matters. It's telling you that your fears, your doubts do not matter because you have this spot of light. This is your goal. This is the planet Earth. Then we have a time machine with number three and the double mission here, being the light worker, sea worker, and just being you. This may be asking you to work on healing yourself. And with the baby steps and the roses kiss, it seems like you need to go back and heal something, uh, either in a past life or in early childhood that you may not have understood as a child, but now you're an adult and your perspective has shifted and you can go back there and heal and comfort that inner child, which is going to shift your perspective. And by healing yourself, Virgo, you're going to be able to heal the world. Okay, let's look at the Reiki Oracle cards. Reiki is the universal life force. Okay, that card wanted to jump right out. And here we have put your heart in your work. And with the roses kiss, the baby steps, this might be you starting a side business doing something that you truly love, Virgo. And it will have to do with emotional healing. And you're going to clear the smoke and mirrors, the illusions. But you can also be inspired by what it is that you see. You can also be triggered by the smoke and mirrors. And perhaps even though you may not understand it, by triggering you, it is helping you to understand those triggers and where they came from so that you can heal them. Okay, and then next we have a friend. Okay, there is going to be a friend that may be helping you, inspiring you. This could also be the friend within you, being your own friend, learning to be your own friend by understanding your double mission here and being a friend to this inner child that didn't understand something traumatic that happened in the past, but now you have gained wisdom and now you can go back through this time machine. The mirror can be your portal and also give you that wisdom of understand, understanding the illusion that fear and doubt can have on us. Okay, now let's look at the mudras. These are hand mudras that can help bring healing and balancing to mind, body, and spirit. I'm going to draw a couple of these. I have it. Those two came flying out, and these are yours. The Karuna Mudra. Okay, and it looks like this, 28, compassion. Okay, it assists with compassion, joy, and harmony. And I really feel that this is giving that affirmation to the rose's kiss and putting your heart into your work. And the benefits, relieves allergies and nasal congestion, assists immune system, opens and directs breath to head and sinuses. 
the element is air, and we are in Gemini season right now, which is an air sign. And the instruction is cup the left hand with palm facing in toward the heart center. Cup the right hand palm facing outward. Bring the fingers of the right hand to touch the tips and then place them inside the cupped hand at the base of the fingers. Relax the shoulders down and uh, the focus is I sense and open to perfect balance and understanding. And I think this really goes well with this baby steps, you know, following your intuition before it makes sense. And so then your next one is the Push Paputa Mudra. And please forgive me if I mispronounce. Um, and it looks like this, number eight, giving. Okay, this assists in non-attachment, generosity, and steadfastness. The benefits reduces stress and blood pressure, balances digestion and elimination, cultivates a sense of generosity and grounding, helps to release attachments on all levels of being and in invokes a sense of offering to others. And the element is earth. And you, Virgo, are an earth sign. So I really feel that these are working very well together since we are in Gemini, air season, and you are Virgo, earth sign. And the instructions is hold both hands slightly cupped in front of the belly, palms facing upward, Touch the outer edges of the pinky and ring fingers on both hands. Extend the hand slightly forward to symbolize an offering and relax shoulders. And your focus is I open to greater generosity and abundance. And by doing so, you also open yourself up to receiving because as you give, you receive. And many people have great difficulty in receiving because they feel like they should always be giving. But with these baby steps, I feel like, and the roses kissed, you need to be gentle. And if you are starting something new with a friend, like a side business with a friend, this is going to be very positive. You're going to be very supportive of each other. Okay, we go. Let's conclude your reading with a crystal wisdom card. That's way too many. <laughs> Just want one. Okay. We have Malachite healing. <laughs> this is so perfect for you, Virgo, because you are all about healing. I am a healing machine manifesting miracles. And again, Virgo, you may not understand the information that's being channeling through you, not only for your own healing, but when you are doing energy work and healing with others, um, you are just going to just let that energy flow before it makes sense, and afterwards, it may make sense. It may not make sense to you, but it may make sense to the person that you're working with. Okay, Virgo, I am going to conclude your reading here. I hope that you found this helpful and resonated with you. This is, remember, just be kind and gentle to yourself because you are a healing machine and you must heal yourself so you can be strong to heal the world. Okay, Virgo, you take care.